Farmers Billy and Ethel Hoss are terrorized in the middle of the night by a giant figure that kills their dog and leaves large footprints in their yard. The next day, paraplegic wheelchair user Preston Rogers goes to a secluded cottage in the woods with his home. Care Nurse Otis. A group of women named Karen. Michelle. C. J. Tracy. And Amanda arrive to stay in the cabin next door for a bachelorette party. Otis departs for town and night falls. Preston observes as Karen steps outside. But does not notice as something abducts her. He sees her cell phone lying on the ground and correctly surmises something has happened to her. He then notices a telephone pole has been knocked over. Preventing him from being able to call anyone. Using his binoculars. He looks into the woods and sees a pair of large eyes staring directly at him. Terrified. Preston goes back inside and turns off all the lights. Otis returns and Preston tries to tell him what he saw. But Otis does not believe him. Elsewhere. Billy and his friends Ziegler Dane and Buddy are out hunting for the same monster. Which they believe to be a Bigfoot. Dane finds a cave and discovers a mortally wounded Karen. The beast returns and drags Karen back into the cave while Dane runs back to the group. They attempt to attack the creature but are all killed. Preston tries to contact the police to inform them of the creature via email. Though Deputy McBride wants to check on Preston despite disbelieving his claim. His superior Sheriff Haldeman is flippant and refuses to allow him to do so. Preston sees that the remaining women are looking for Karen and asks Otis to go over and tell them what he saw. But Otis refuses. Preston then watches as Tracy is killed by the creature. Preston becomes hysterical and Otis attempts to sedate him. But Preston gains control of the syringe and tranquilizes Otis. Preston then looks out the window. The creature appears. Roaring at him. Preston faints in terror. Sometime later Preston wakes up to a still sedated Otis and the creature gone from the window. He receives a dismissive email response from Haldeman and then screams out the window to warn the remaining women next door. Shortly after the beast invades their cabin, Michelle and C. J. both fall victim to the monster. But Amanda is able to make it to Preston's house. Preston comforts Amanda, and tells her that he only recently became a wheelchair user. Several months earlier Preston and his wife were rock climbing when their cables snapped. His wife fell to her death while Preston survived. Amanda and Preston formulate a plan to trap the creature and escape. The power goes out and the Bigfoot breaks into the cabin. Forcing them to escape down the balcony with rope. Preston makes it to the ground but Amanda is taken by the creature. She is then saved by Otis. Who strikes the creature in the back with an axe. Causing it to drop Amanda. The attack does not kill it. And the enraged beast kills Otis. Amanda and Preston make it to the car. But the creature causes them to crash. Amanda is ejected from the vehicle and knocked out. Preston then drives into the creature. Ramming it into a tree. Causing the axe from Otis attack to impale it. Preston crawls over to Amanda as the creature dies. And the two head off down the road. Deputy McBride finds them and calls in his fellow officers and paramedics. Preston and Amanda are then taken to safety in an ambulance. While the police head back to the cabins. At the cabins. McBride discovers the creature has vanished. While Haldeman leads the rest of his men into the woods. They hear noises and see multiple Bigfoots hiding in the trees growling at them.